Hey everyone, Miguel Perez here from the Cisco Data Center Routing and Switching Technical Leader Team. Today I want to talk to you about the race condition seen when doing redistribution from an IGP into BGP. For our scenario, we have three Nexus 9 cases as seen in the diagram, R1, R2, and R3. R1 and R2 have an EVGP session between them, and R1 will advertise via EVGP their route for 10.10.10.10.32. R2 and R3 have an OSPF adjacency, and R3 will advertise the same route 10.10.10.10 as an intra-area route to R2. In a normal scenario without redistribution, routes would arrive to R2 and get compared in the Unicast routing table. EBGP route would be preferred based on the lower administrative distance of 20. And as you can see, in NXOS we do display the OSPF route as a backup with administrative distance of 110. If we lose the BGP route, the OSPF route will get installed in the URIP, but when BGP route is recovered, it will replace the OSPF route. We will simulate this by shutting down the neighbor and bringing it back up. Once we start learning again the route through BGP, we will see that it will be preferred on the routing table due to the lower administrative distance. However, when we configure OSPF to BGP redistribution, this will change. I already have a prefix list and a route map configured for this, so let's add it to the BGP process. At first sight, everything is the same, but we will see the change in behavior when the BGP route is lost, the OSPF route will take over, and when the BGP route is reestablished, OSPF will remain as the winner. We receive the route again through eBGP and we check the routing table to see which is the route that is being preferred and it is still the OSPF one and that is not changing. We can check the BGP table to see the reason for this. The locally injected route has a bigger weight than the route received through eBGP. In this case, the selection of routes is taking place in the BGP table instead of the routing table. By default, locally injected routes will have a weight of 32,768. We can do a quick workaround by clearing the route from the routing table to install the BGP route again. This will only work for redistributed routes. If the route in is injected using the network command, it won't work due to the order of operation th the route follows. As we can see, the BGP route is, is preferred and the locally injected is gone from the BGP table. If we wanted the BGP route to be preferred always, we can change the weight for that neighbor to be higher than the one for the locally injected route. Now we will shut down the neighbor so that the OSPF route is preferred. When we recover the BGP route, it will take over automatically, thanks to the higher weight we configured to re for routes received from that neighbor. Here we can see BGP took over automatically. In conclusion, when we have a redistribution, there are two scenarios that will decide which route gets installed. If OSPF route arrives first, OSPF gets installed in the URIP. BGP network command or redistribution injects this into BGP table with weight of 32,768. EBGP learn route arrives from the neighbor and BGP route selection happens and local injected route gets preferred due to the higher weight based on BGP best path selection algorithm. This decision happens on the BGP table. However, if BGP route arrives first, BGP route gets installed in the URIP, OSPF route then gets learned, OSPF into BGP redistribution does not take place because redistribution will only happen for routes installed in the URIP. The route selection is done based on an administrative distance, comparing eBGP with the value of 20 and OSPF with a value of 110. The decision here happens at the routing table instead of the BGP table. Thank you for watching.